Scientists have just discovered something that's going to rewrite geology textbooks. Let me explain. From above, rivers look mesmerizing, snaking through valleys, curling across plains, like a fire hose whipping loose. They bend and twist, only guided by the land beneath them. Nature's choreography. For decades, we've thought the story was rather simple. Rivers on early Earth were chaotic, braided channels that shifted constantly because nothing held their banks in place. Then, plants arrived. Roots stabilized the soil, allowing rivers to essentially slow down to start bending curving, basically meandering. Braided rivers were no longer the only type of river, we now had meandering systems. It was a tidy cause and effect, but that story just broke. Stanford scientists have found that meandering river systems existed hundreds of millions of years before the first plants arrived. These ancient rivers curved, built floodplains, all without a single root in sight. Here's how they figured it out. They studied more than 4,500 bends from across 49 modern day rivers. Some were lush and green, others barren and desert-like. And from space, a pattern emerged. In vegetated rivers, point bars, the sandy deposits inside the bends, shift sideways, pushing rivers into elegant S-curves. In bare landscapes, so lacking vegetation, those bars migrated downstream, so with the direction of the river, leaving behind deposits that look like sandbars on braided rivers. And that's where the story breaks. For years, geologists have misread these downstream river deposits assuming they're from braided river systems. But the Stanford team has shown that unvegetated meandering systems also have those downward point bars. What we thought were braided rivers may have actually been meandering rivers too. And the implications are rather huge. Meandering systems are natural carbon sinks, locking in lots of organic material in the floodplains. If they were shaping the earth earlier than we believe they were, then they may have been cooling the planet for a longer period of time, something we've not included in our climate models. Every day is a school day here on Earth Explained. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.